Hello, I'm Dr. Adam Redding. I'm the Technical Director in the Drinking Water Solutions segment at Calgon Carbon. I'd like to talk to you today about a concept called volume activity. This is something that seems to be somewhat understood but not terribly well applied, and I think it's actually something we can get across pretty simply with two ASTM methods. The first ASTM method is pretty familiar to most people that have applied carbon, it's the iodine number. The second one, also quite familiar, is the apparent density. What's really critical to consider is that most of the time when we see a specification, that specification is written for a carbon of a set iodine number, be it 900, 1000, 1100, and there's also apparent density included. So this could be a value around 0.5, maybe 0.55 grams per cc. It's rare, however, that they're actually connected into what makes sense for the application. And I say that because when carbon is applied, we talk about contact time, we talk about bed volumes. The only way that we can consider the value of the iodine number is if we actually get it back to that volume. So it's actually quite simply to, uh, simple to do. You take the iodine number that you're specifying and you multiply that value times the apparent density. That now normalizes that value into what we like to call volume activity. So the activity of the carbon, milligrams of iodine absorbed per cc of carbon. What this means is that you capture within the volume of your bed the value of the iodine number. Where this shakes out is that you can then in the specification say that, well, if you have a high density carbon with a lower iodine number, the volume activity, total activity per bed, is actually on the same footing. So you can shift these two parameters and it provides more value to your customer simply because you're not just applying a high iodine number that is never realized in the bed volume because the density is low. So again, simple, standard ASTM methods, iodine number, apparent density, those two multiplied, put the activated carbons on the same footing. So now we're actually doing an apples to apples comparison and you can understand the value of the iodine number in the application. Thank you very much for your time and watching this video today. If there are other topics about carbon that you'd like to see covered, please put them in the comments below the video or feel free to email me at adam.redding at carare.com. Uh, I say Carare because Carare is the parent company of Calgon Carbon. That's K-U-R-A-R-A-Y. Thank you very much.